Hi everyone! Today I'm sharing my recipe for low-carb chicken zucchini lasagna. This is an absolutely delicious, simple and easy recipe your whole family is going to love. Let's get started with this amazing recipe, but before we do that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you can always be updated on all of my latest videos. We are going to take a pan on medium-high heat and we're going to place two pounds of ground chicken into that, a small onion roughly chopped up, and about 10 to 12 cloves of garlic. And yes, I'm using whole cloves of garlic. To this, I'm also adding a cup of water. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon each of salt, red chili flakes, black pepper, and oregano. And remember, you can always adjust the seasoning to your own taste. We are just going to give this a quick mix, and then we are going to cover this and cook it for about 20 minutes on medium high heat. In between those 20 minutes, make sure that you give this a good mix a couple of times to break any clumps that the ground meat forms. And you can also press down the garlic a little bit. It will soften while it cooks. Now, while the ground chicken cooks through, let's get started on the zucchini. I'm gonna take about four zucchinis and I've washed them and now I'm thinly gonna slice them using a potato peeler. You can see I have this really nice thinly sliced zucchini and this is what we're using instead of lasagna noodles. Today I am using two green zucchinis and two yellow zucchinis. You can use whatever kind you like. You can even use eggplant if you prefer. I'm just going to continue slicing the rest of my zucchinis. Once all your zucchini is thinly sliced, we're going to place this on a baking sheet and we're going to bake at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. Now let's go back and check on that ground chicken. And as you can see, all of the extra moisture, all the extra liquids have dried out completely and it is time to brown this meat on high heat. So we're gonna brown this for about five minutes and you can add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil if you'd like to. I am not gonna be using any oil, I'm just gonna dry roast this in my pan. And once it has been dry roasted, I am gonna add marinara sauce and this is my absolute favorite brand of marinara sauce. I am using the whole bottle, which was about 28 ounces. Just mix this up really well and then cover this and cook it for about 10 minutes on low heat. Meanwhile, let's get started on the ricotta cheese filling. I'm going to be using whole milk ricotta, about 32 ounces. So you just want to dump all of that ricotta cheese into a big mixing bowl. Next, we are going to add a teaspoon each of salt, black pepper, red chili flakes, and garlic powder. I'm also going to be grating up some nutmeg right into this ricotta cheese. This will add a really rich, warm flavor to the lasagna. Next, we're going to add a couple of eggs. Oops, I forgot to add my oregano. So we are going to add one teaspoon of oregano into this ricotta cheese filling. We're gonna mix this really well until everything is well combined. The cheese filling looks perfect. And now let's go back and check on our ground chicken. Ooh, that looks really good. 
the marinara sauce and the chicken have come together really well. It smells amazing. Now let's get started with the layers. We are gonna start off with our meat sauce. That is gonna be our first layer. Our second layer is gonna be the baked zucchini slices. Next layer is the ricotta cheese filling. Now we are going to add some shredded mozzarella cheese. And now we're just gonna keep repeating our layers until we have used up all our ingredients. Once all of your layers are complete, you're gonna place this in your oven for about 30 to 35 minutes at 425 degrees. And after half an hour, look at this beautiful lasagna. Check out the color, look at those bubbles on the sides. I cannot even tell you how amazing this smells right now. It looks so good and it is extremely delicious. The best part is, it is a healthier version. You can eat it with lesser guilt because it's low carb. I know this is gonna be hard to do, but you will want to let this rest for about 15 minutes before you cut into it. Just take a look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely scrumptious? Look at all those layers, and I am sure you're not gonna miss the lasagna noodles in this. Now I am gonna go ahead and enjoy my plate of lasagna. This is so addictive and super duper delicious. Thank you so much for watching this video and I do hope you're gonna try out this easy and delicious recipe. Stay tuned for more and I will catch you next time. Bye.